Hey everybody, here's a quick tutorial on how to use these amp seal connectors that are used all over the place. Um, there's a couple tools you need, uh, just a little screwdriver, a uh, stripping tool just to strip the wires, a crimp tool, and of course the, you know, the terminals, wire, and actual connectors themselves. So to get started, um, this red piece here is the wedge lock that holds the terminals in place. There are little clips that hold onto a terminal, and this guy keeps those clips engaged so that they can't come out. The first step is that you have to pop this up. You just stick a little screwdriver right there and pop upward like that on both ends. There we go. So now this should be loose and up about, you know, maybe five millimeters, three sixteenths of an inch, something like that. Um, okay, so the, the connector itself is now ready. Next step is to get a pin on the end of the wire. Go ahead and strip. I'm going to strip, you know, about an eighth of an inch, three millimeters, something like that. Um, <laughs> the goal here is to get the stripped amount of wire about the same length as that second tab in there. And the goal is to, stri is to crimp the wire just about right here. So the tip of the copper is, you know, near that opening right there. It's near this opening and the end of the insulation is somewhere near this first opening here. So that's maybe a little short, but it'll, that'll be okay. Uh, so with some tools, like mine, I actually have to squish the terminal just a little bit here so that it fits in the jaws nicely. And then it can fit in the jaws right here. Come on. There we go. So you want terminal in the jaws like that, ready to crimp. We can slide the wire in. And I usually look at this side to make sure that the wire is where I want it. And go ahead and crimp it. Then check that we got clean crimp, which we did. And then for, for this smaller wire, I actually need to go down a size to get a nice complete crimp on it. There we go. So now we have a terminal permanently on the end of this wire. Now it's time to actually put it in the connector. So uh, you can see the orange seal in there. That's what actually seals the wire to the connector. This side of the connector of the of the connector actually never has to come apart. You push through that seal to install pins, and when you push it through, you can actually hear piercing the seal. These all have a little bit of a membrane in them. And when you put a connector in it the first time, it, it breaks it. So it will actually not be waterproof if you put a pin in and then take it back out. So you can hear that. Listen really carefully. That little pop is breaking the seal. Then you wiggle it in until you feel the, those little tabs click. Hold onto the connector pin. There's the click. So now this won't pull out. And it'll be hard to see on the camera, but you should be able to look up in the hole and see the pin in there, you know, well aligned and not, not too far up or down. Um, so that's now on there. Now you just repeat that for all the wires you want to plug in. Uh, then to push, you have to push the wedge lock back down to lock all those. So you have to push in on these little black tabs on the ends here with your fingers while pushing down on the red wedge lock. So there's that. So now this pin is locked in there. And now you can actually see that pin lined up perfectly. So now this connector is ready to use. Um, uh, the last thing is, what if you want to get a wire out, if you change your mind, or you put it in the wrong hole or something? Um, you'll have to pop the wedge lock back up again. Pop those, there we go. Make sure this comes up all the way. Then to get the wire out, you just twist back and forth about a quarter turn either direction while pulling. So, you start twist and pull, and you hear a lot of clicking, which is normal, and then eventually, pin comes out. And that's it. Now the important reminder is that now that that hole has been pierced in the seal, you either need to put a seal plug in there or put another wire back in that hole, or otherwise this won't actually be waterproof because that it's permanent when it pokes a hole in there. So uh, that's it.